Hey guys, welcome back to Uline App. For today's video, we are going to show you how to convert Figma design to WordPress. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So for us to convert our Figma design to WordPress, we need to use a tool here. Which in this case, at the top left, let's go ahead and click on the resources section. And you want to go to plugins. Now in this case, you need to search for the following, which is going to be UI Kami. Let's go ahead and open it up. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to get a serial key. Let's go ahead and click on get UI Kemi key. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to choose the start free or free version here. And now from here, make sure that Elementor is selected. Now from here, what we need to do next is we need to download it for free. So in this case, you could choose continue with Google here, or continue with Facebook or manually create your account. But I'm going to continue with my Google account. Let's go and click on continue here to finish setting up our account. But once it's actually finally set up, what we need to do next is we need to get our key. In this case, go and click on free download here. And we should now have our free key. So this might take a while. So in this case, let's just wait for it. But in this case, let's go and copy our key here. And what we need to do is we need to actually go back into here. You want to paste your key. And from here, you want to click on activate. It's going to say checking. And from here, it's going to say optimize convert or express convert. So if you choose optimize convert here, it acts as your design, optimize and improve compatibility and data five frames needing auto layout improvements. Now in this case, let's go and click on optimize and convert. In this case, I can choose our mockup here, click on confirm. And from here, you could go ahead and click on it again. Now from here, what we need to do is we now need to either choose the optimization companion here, widget tags are responsive. Let's go ahead and click on Mac up, convert. And from here, let's go ahead and choose the live import option. In this case, let's go ahead and choose our site, but in this case, I'm going to choose this one. If you want to add your site, you can go ahead and add the URL as well as the token itself. So to get the URL as well as the token, what we need to do is we need to actually go back into our uh, WordPress here. I want to go to plugins. I want to click on add new plugin. And from here, you want to install UI Kemi. So in this case, it's just time in UI Kemi, press and search. And from here, you want to actually install UI Kemi Figma to WordPress. Let's go and click on install now. Now, once actually install, what we need to do is we now need to activate. And once it's actually activated, we should now be able to see it in here. So in this case, we need to look for UI Kami here. So let's go ahead and click on this one. I'm going to click on settings here. And under settings, you should be able to see these pages here. You can go ahead and click on next here. But for now, let's go ahead and click on skip, finish. And from here, we should have our site URL. Let's go ahead and copy this one. Go back into here. Paste our URL. Want to go ahead and copy your token as well. Go in here, paste it, click on connect. It's going to start verifying that it's uh, going to say connected. And once actually connected, you should now be able to uh, click on the next button here. But in this case, you first need to select the uh, following, which in this case, you need to choose either page or Elementor templates. So for example, I'm going to say Elementor templates here, and you could go ahead and choose standard template if you want to. And from here on, you can go ahead and click on next. Now, if you want to select a metal, like for some existing one, you could go and choose it as well. For now, let's go and click on say, uh, this one, click on import all. It's going to start the importing process here. So we just need to wait for it to complete. It's going to say imported uh, completed. Let's go and click on open here. And it should open up our page and it should show you the actual look of that specific imported uh, product. Now, in this case, it might not exactly work as intended because sometimes all the elements and images here might not be that uh, formatted correctly for a web page. So make sure that whenever you're uh, actually uh, designing your uh, product or your web page here, make sure that it actually confirms to a specific format. But in this case, uh, you could go ahead and go back in here and edit it if you want to. But in this case, we have the following uh, templates here. We have the following. So if you want to click on edit, you should be able to start editing it as you wish. But uh, yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to Yelena. Thank you for watching.